What up y'all, it's Marty Blends and we're back with another Simnac tutorial. Today we have a super clean drop fade comb over, so let's jump right into it. The first step to any haircut should always be to section and clip away the portion you won't be working on. You now want to create your first baseline. Since it is a drop fade, make sure you leave the occipital area darker by dropping it. Next, patiently remove everything underneath. With your number 2 open, debulk up to 2 inches of hair. This will leave you enough room to achieve that nice blend you want. Also, don't forget to flick out just a tad bit after every stroke, otherwise you'll end up with a harsh line. Using a shaver now, remove all the stubble for a cleaner look. With your clipper and your lever open, create a half inch guideline all around the head. With your one and a half open, move up about a full inch. As you can see, you do want to leave some bulk within the parietal ridge. Now with your half guard halfway open, create a half inch guideline in between the lever open and the one and a half guide. Using the number one open, break the line within the dark and light area. Coming back to your lever open, remove that line from your lever open we made earlier. This is a perfect example of how corners can make a big difference even when using the same number to remove that line. I do touch up areas and come back to detail my blend. Remember, this is probably the most important step of them all. Finally, with your lever closed, no guard, hit that baseline. You should be able to see the blend in full effect. Guys, do the exact same steps on the other side. In this case, I do work on one side first for demonstration purposes only. Also, remember to stay patient and understand that it's okay to replay the video if you need to. These translucent guards that you see me using can be found at martyblends.com. And finally, if you do want to up your barber game, make sure to subscribe. Okay now back to the cut, as you can see, detail is extremely crucial. Fit your corners in where you can see unnecessary darkness and keep hitting areas that need work. Use clipper over comb on areas that you feel have too much bulk. You can also do freehand to be a bit more precise and knock out certain areas. As for lineups, use a trimmer to knock out the bulk and finish off using your razor blade. Now 
Now moving up to the top portion of the hair, moisten and section. I do like starting with the rear, then sides, and then end up in the top portion at the end. Guys, the full scissor work video is coming your way, so keep on the lookout, but just watch and notice how we gradually move around. Now blow dry and give the hair some volume to achieve the look I'm going for. Add a bit of matte clay and work it in, laying down the comb over split at the same time. Here is the finishing product and if you did enjoy this make sure to stay tuned for more, subscribe, like and comment what you want to see next. Again, I'm Marty Blends and I'm out. Peace.